Ну, я не помню, я лекции... у меня лекция сейчас вот, начинается. Good afternoon, dear student. Uh, we are ready to start our lecture and course again. And uh, as I see, uh, today absent uh, seven person. That's fine. And uh, please don't forget to put your name here and uh, let me know who uh, who uh, present uh, who absent today. Today lecture will be about X-ray anatomy and. It is very important topic for all doctors because uh, this. Маша, если ты мне поставишь, я не смогу так работать. Или, или давай вот штат 15.30, потому что... Хорошо. Sorry. Uh, this... Uh, yeah, I see almost all person and thank you for uh, letting me know uh, just uh, the as usual i uh, i'd like to ask you uh, to inform me about uh, connection quality if everything good with the uh, sound and my voice is you clearly hear me then i'm ready i am uh, i can start the presentation Хариба, what does it mean IK? Oh, okay, I understand. Good, thank you. So let's switch to the presentation. By the way, you put your question in the chat box. I hope uh, I will open it. Uh, I will back um, to the chat box in the end of the lecture. And uh, as usual, uh, don't hesitate. Uh, to uh, send question to our Moodle uh, Moodle section, and uh, there is a, a special um, a special forum uh, in the Moodle when uh, where you can um, leave uh, your question. Well, and uh, today topic is X-ray anatomy of bones and joints. Uh, firstly, I would say that uh, more than 100 years have passed since Konrad Röntgen, uh, the uh, German, German sci uh, sci uh, scientist, discovered X-ray, X-rays. Uh, but now X-rays are used everywhere. Uh, we uh, used this uh, uh, radiation to find defects in engineering structures, check passenger luggage uh, and study organs and of course uh, quad human health. X-ray diagnostic today is the best and the mo most reliable doctor's assistant, especially for exam examin examining the skeleton. But without knowledge of X-ray anatomy, it's impossible to conduct X-ray examination. So, uh, as I said, it is a very important topic because almost all of you, when you, uh, when you became doctors, you will uh, you will face to the uh, to the different uh, causes of uh, fractures you will uh, you will examinate x-ray and so you have to know how uh, how anatomical structure as a bones and joints uh, look like on the uh, X-ray diagnostic. Therefore, today we will talk about the X-ray method for studying the skeletal system. Here is a picture of uh, Wilhelm Konrad Röntgen. Uh, as I said, uh, German physicist. Uh, he was not doctor, he was uh, physic. Uh, from small city, he lived in small city in Würzburg, 
Uh, and uh, on 8 November, 8, uh, 1895, uh, so it was in the uh, 19th century, Röntgen uh, uh, produced and detected electromagnetic radiation in a wavelength range from 5 to 10 nanometers uh, and uh, uh, it is now uh, it is known uh, it is known uh, today as x-ray or a Röntgen rays actually here in uh, Russia we call these rays Röntgen rays but uh, in Europe, in the United States, I don't know about Africa and uh, about um, the Orient countries, uh, but in Europe, uh, almost all doctors call this ray X-ray because uh, Röntgen uh, called uh, this uh, this. Um, electromagnetic radiation as a x rays because he doesn't know it was new radiation um, and um, uh, for this uh, for this invention uh, Ron Gen get uh, first Nobel Prize in physics and it was it was in 1901. Uh, uh, so you can can compare uh, the date of uh, the um, first uh, x uh, x-ray examination this is the first uh, first um, image x-ray image uh, and it uh, belonged to Frau Bertha Röntgen, the, the uh, wife of uh, Philip Röntgen. And uh, it was uh, on the 8th November 1895. Six years later, only six years, uh, Röntgen get Nobel Prize in Physics. And uh, it is uh, worth, uh, worthy of respect that Röntgen refused to patent his invention. He, uh, he didn't, uh, didn't receive any money for uh, this invention. He just get Nobel Prize, but he, not, uh, he didn't regist register the patent for X-ray uh, uh, radiation because uh, he was a real uh, scientist and he believed that uh, his discovery should belong, belong to all of humanity. Uh, that is the picture of the first uh, X-ray generator here, what uh, Röntgen did, uh, produced uh, to um, get the first uh, x-ray image for uh, his uh, wife but uh, later uh, there are a lot of uh, a lot of uh, new x-ray machines uh, which uh, were um, provided by many uh, manufacturers in europe and they will uh, they will uh, do need it for clinics, for uh, for doctors, uh, just uh, to examine uh, human lungs, because this period of time was uh, the period when the tuberculosis, uh, the uh, disease, infection, disease of lungs, uh, were very very popular in Europe. That's why. The um, invention, Röntgen invention, uh, was uh, so um, was uh, so necessary for people and doctors. 
There is funny story about one rich but not a very educated, let's say so, man who wrote a letter to Röntgen asking him to send some X-ray in the uh, in the mail to send uh, uh, him the. Uh, he asked Röntgen uh, send to send some uh, some small part X-ray to this uh, to this man but uh, as, you, as you understand it is not possible just to send to put some x-ray radiation in the box and send by post so um, uh, again I replied to uh, this nobleman that it would be easier uh, if uh, he sent his chest by mail just to examine it and send it back. It's funny. It's funny story. But uh, let's uh, let's come back to the uh, lecture. And uh, I uh, uh, here I uh, uh, give you a definition of uh, X-ray anatomy. What does it mean, X-ray anatomy? So, as you see here, X-ray anatomy is a, a theoretical discipline at uh, the intersection of anatomy and radiology. Uh, and uh, X-ray anatomy st studies structural patterns of X-ray images of different parts of human body uh, because uh, we uh, I mean um, you uh, just uh, have lesson with the uh, moving uh, movement system and uh, you uh, are studying bones now it's time to talk about how bones looks like on the uh, uh, X-ray images. Uh, let's uh, <coughs> let's uh, uh, let's talk uh, a little about X-ray technique. How we uh, get uh, X-ray images? Unlike uh, visible lights, X-ray. Uh, I hope you understand it. X-ray pass through our body, and when it started uh, uh, from the uh, from the um, uh, ROS, from the X-ray source, we call it X-ray uh, source, and uh, it come through the body, and then uh, the part of the X-ray uh, leave. Uh, in the body, but some part come to the receiver. Here is receiver, and all uh, anatomical structure looks like they uh, became transparent. And some of the uh, organs, uh, especially bones, um, uh, they uh, they absorb X-ray radiation more than other. Uh, tissue and uh, they are they became they became visible on the receiver. Uh, firstly, it will use the photographic uh, photographic uh, film uh, film uh, plates, but now this is the special uh, special uh, receiver with the digital uh, digital um, digital elements. And we uh, we uh, we don't uh, need uh, don't need the uh, films anymore. That it is you uh, more useful. Uh, and this uh, receiver uh, converts uh, the X-ray into electric in, into electrical signals uh, that uh, from here and that is displayed on the screen. Uh, previously, uh, it was uh, the film with the silver salt, uh, and I think it is uh, quite expensive uh, and uh, it's boring and it is uh, 
uh, usually it takes it took uh, more time to uh, get uh, quality uh, to get uh, to get uh, good images and now it is very easy procedure uh, and uh, here you see the uh, uh, modern uh, modern x-ray machine which uh, the here is the source and uh, behind uh, under the body this is a receiver and uh, all signals come to the uh, special screen to the doctor and uh, doctor examinate uh, examinate um, all images on uh, their doctors uh, do it on their computers it is very uh, very convenient now uh, what is the what about uh, uh, x-ray absorption of the tissue as you see the most uh, um, the most uh, uh, possibility to absorb x-ray radiation have bones bones have uh, uh, bone absorb uh, x-ray uh, as much as possible but uh, less uh, muscles, liver, uh, parenchymal organs, as well as cartilage tissue. And then uh, skin is less and adipose tissue. But uh, the minimal absorption has uh, or uh, have organs containing ear like trachea, bronchis, lung tissue. Uh, some uh, part of the small and large intestine. So maximum is bones, but minimum is uh, uh, air containing organs. Well, and uh, about uh, reading, uh, reading of the X-ray, we see the picture like a, it is a transparent, and we see the bones inside and we uh, call this uh, uh, i mean i mean uh, bones as the shadows because that is a negative that is a negative uh, image then uh, white objects uh, are bones and uh, mm, uh, we call uh, them shadows, shadows, like uh, they absorb more uh, X-ray radiation, like uh, umbrella uh, absorb uh, uh, sunlight. Then we call uh, such uh, part uh, of the body which, uh, which have less absorption of X-ray, uh, for example, here, uh, trachea is visible and trachea we call inside is uh, of course air and we call such uh, uh, objects such spot like lights lights and uh, or uh, lucencies lucencies uh, and uh, x-ray uh, x-ray examination usually uh, usually take uh, is taken in uh, is in two dimensional uh, images uh, in the right uh, sorry in the uh, front for example here this is a front projection two projection and lateral projection here is the right or front projection front and uh, this is the lateral lateral the main idea what uh, I um, like to share with you it uh, that you uh, you should to study all uh, structures on the x-ray images uh, as uh, and understand that is, is that is a projection projection and that is a 
two uh, dimensional images of three dimensional objects in uh, the two dimensional images various anatomical structure are layered they uh, they put uh, uh, each other and we see some of the uh, for example uh, for example uh, organs like trachea and it is visible because it contains air here trachea and it is layered on the bones your main uh, task is to recognize some organs uh, for its borders and understand where they are uh, located i th i hope it is not a difficult task but it uh, takes some time to understand and uh, some uh, skills to uh, find uh, find their um, well known well known anatomical objects on X-ray images. And uh, uh, this is a, um, uh, this is uh, the um, idea of what I already uh, what I already let you know that uh, typically typically we uh, recommend to uh, examine organs, especially bones, especially fractured bones like here, in two projections. Let's take, for instance, a fracture of the humerus here. And this is a lateral projection. And we can see the fracture line here is a fracture line. Here and here, uh, but it is not a uh, severe fracture, as you see. It is just some fracture, but not. But if we uh, take a frontal projection like here, it is the same patient. Uh, you will really see a very complex fracture because the one part of the bones is near to the skin and that is real and hot uh, that is a difficult fracture a dramatic fracture thus you can show <laughs> um, i think you uh, you may uh, show this image for relatives for patients relatives but uh, to uh, send this uh, uh, better better both of course uh, images to surgery for surgery surgical treatment uh, and uh, also uh, that uh, because uh, surgeons uh, should uh, should know what is the uh, hand to be operated on then uh, technical uh, technical person put a letter here and you see this is a l what means left uh, and uh, this picture uh, this objects show to the doctor that is a left uh, left uh, um, left arm left uh, humerus and it is necessary because uh, uh, when surgeons will be confused uh, well well they are confused they may uh, to operate operate uh, right uh, right uh, humerus and right arm and uh, which is uh, which no needs to do well uh, and uh, and the special uh, special uh, um, lights box we call it negatoscope here is a, this is a box 
is usually used to read radiographs, radio X-ray uh, images. It uh, creates uh, an uh, evenly light background for viewing. So uh, here is special uh, switch uh, switcher which uh, switch on the lights and uh, you can see a lot of different a lot of different x-ray images uh, some of experienced doctors may view uh, radiographs uh, with a bright light source uh, it's no need they uh, don't uh, need negatoscopes and as you see some of uh, Really wise people like our president can do uh, can examine uh, uh, radiographs just without light. It is interesting. Uh, what is the advantages in modern X-ray examination? Firstly, uh, there are several advantages and. Uh, uh, thanking to the digital technologies, we have low radiation exposure, excellent uh, image quality, high reliability, which means that uh, uh, that is um, almost every, uh, every um, examination, in the result of uh, every X-ray examination, we get perfect images uh, and that is a reliability and uh, uh, modern uh, x-ray machine are very uh, very uh, easy uh, to solve them they are very solvable and of course uh, now uh, even uh, the uh, Tomography examination. Uh, I I don't. I even don't talk about the um, standard X-ray examination. They are very uh, cheap now. They became cheaper and cheaper, um, and uh, so uh, it is uh, profitability. Uh, it is profit uh, profit to get uh, a lot of. Uh, X-ray examination in the clinic, in polyclinic, and even in uh, some of uh, department. I have a dream, by the way, that uh, someday uh, in our department we will we will get uh, the uh, real uh, real uh, computer tomograph, uh, the X-ray tomograph, just to uh examinate our patients uh i hope you know that uh, we also have patient in uh, human morphology department and human anatomy departments and our patients uh, usually uh, feel uh, fine uh, all the time and uh, they um, uh, they <coughs> have no complaints Okay, uh, now I'd like to uh, uh, introduce uh, the X-ray method, X-ray uh, examination method. First one is rentgenography. Sorry, this is a e, L uh, should be uh, graphy, uh, rentgenography. We call it. Uh, X-ray examine standard X-ray examination, which uh, was uh, invented by Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, and now it is still uh, still using is is used is still used in the medicine and in clinics. Fluorography, fluorography. Uh, is uh, the uh, uh, examination of lungs and heart 
heart and lungs examination with the special uh, small cabinets which make uh, makes easier uh, to um, to produce uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, images x-ray images of the chest uh, in one period of time. So, fluorography usually used in polyclinic just for uh, just for to examine a lot of people in one uh, in one day. Uh, the contrast radiography uh, usually uh, are used for um, make visible uh, some uh, anatomical structure to inject uh, uh, inject fluid with the high X-ray absorption. Fluoroscopy is a dynamic uh, dynamic process. When we see uh, uh, see uh, objects uh, in uh, uh, in the X-ray examination, uh, like in the TV. We see the movement organs and see uh, blood uh, movements and etc. And uh, the most modern, uh, most modern is CT scan. CT scan, uh, the procedure, uh, examination procedure, which also uh, used, which also uses the uh, Röntgen uh, or X-ray radiation. Um, here you see uh, the Röntgen graphy. Sorry, it's also uh, it's my, it is my mistake. I uh, put uh, ro wrong letter here, uh, and excuse me for this mistake. And here you see the first uh, machine uh, for the radiography. Uh, it is maybe it is the oldest one, and, uh, and there that is the, the uh, modern modern technique. Of course, doctor doesn't uh, uh, doesn't see, he doesn't see it uh, close to the uh, X-ray examination machine. It is just for advertisement. And uh, I hope uh, that doctors uh, doctors uh, don't want to be uh, to be uh, uh, to be in the re the risk of uh, uh, X-ray examination because uh, uh, X-ray uh, uh, are dangerous. They have dangerous for tissue. That is the uh, that is the uh, ionization, ionization, and uh, it's uh, bad for health to uh, present to be uh, to be present uh, close to the X-ray machine. You need to be uh, secured. You need to have some um, defense of the X-ray examination. Next is the uh, apparatus or machine for fluoroscopy. As you see, only uh, chest uh, is visible um, by uh, such method. And, uh, but it is very easy to examine lungs. And uh, uh, lungs and, uh, of course, uh, the heart. Uh, usually, uh, such uh, cabinets or offices, fluoroscopy offices, uh, are present uh, on uh, clinic, even uh, on some mobile pa mobile um, offices uh, with the auto automobile uh, fluoroscopy cabinets, and they come to the different. Um, uh, regions and uh, ask people to be examined uh, because uh, it's just to prevent uh, tuberculosis. Uh, this funny picture shows how fluoroscopy 
may be done uh, in on the battlefields uh, during the uh, it's a bad job, uh, sorry. Uh, especially now, I hope uh, we will uh, we will uh, we will never uh, do such uh, fluoroscopy. Uh, and uh, contrast radiography uh, is the performance of the filling the vessels with or some some cavity or some organs with a radiopaque substance. Uh, on the first uh, picture, you see the stomach, uh, what was filled with the bar bar sodium. Uh, this is the um, uh, sodium sulfate, uh, which uh, get, which has uh, uh, which has a very good. Uh, absorption of X-ray examination. So we see uh, we see the barium sulfate as uh, uh, as the shadows shadows. Uh, then uh, next picture. I don't know why it is green. Usually, <laughs> usually because maybe maybe we like green color. And uh, here visible the uh, kidneys kidneys. And firstly, the uh, radiopaque substance was uh, injected in the blood vessels, and they, uh, the kidneys started to eliminate uh, these, uh, subs these uh, the substance from the blood and uh, fill it in the, uh, together with the urine. And as a urine, uh, urine uh, fills the uh, the uh, ureters and uh, urine blood, so they became visible. And the last uh, picture uh, shows the injection of radiopaque substance in arteries. Especially, it is interesting that here is a femoral arteries. Uh, the light femoral arteries are normal, but uh, sorry, uh, left, left, yeah, left uh, arteries uh, is normal, but the uh, right one uh, has got some construction here, and we uh, see the typical disease for smoking people which called endotrites, endotrites. And uh, endotrites is possible to see by contrast radiography of the, um, of the body's artery, arteries. Fluoroscopy is dynamic. As I said, we uh, we could uh, see heart vessels, heart, uh, coronary arteries, and uh, examine their diameter. If uh, they are contracted, doctor use uh, the uh, will be uh, uh, will be um, will be operated uh, this patient. And uh, CT scan, CT scan is a modern, uh, modern type of X-ray examination, which was invented in 1972 in California, the United States uh, area. And uh, now with the CT scan. Uh, we can examine the body uh, and get uh, the section. It looks like a section for some levels. It's, uh, it's like we cut the head uh, like, uh, and see the brain inside and even uh, vision organs, uh, oculus and uh, the um, nasal cavity. All uh, this structure are not good visible, especially like uh, like um, 
neuron neurons uh, tissue but in ct scan it is easy to see and even to examine uh, uh, to examine um, bodies in spiral uh, ct scan what uh, does it mean we get the first uh, uh, first uh, section then we get the second sec second section i mean uh, tomography section then the third and computer uh, should combine all uh, picture and produce three-dimensional object like here we see all uh, bones of the skull vertebra and uh, here was uh, the um, carotid artery injected with the contrast radiopaque fluid and we even see the uh, external and internal uh, carotid arteries as well as the uh, arteries and uh, vessels of the lungs and heart next uh, next uh, subject uh, we i uh, i'm going to uh, tell you today is x-ray examination some body spa and we will start from the skull here you see a lateral projection that is means in russian bokovaya projector i especially put i especially put these russian words because you get used to the russian you will when you come here uh, you uh, you will have uh, to understand and read russian so let's start uh, do that today uh, lateral projection means bakavaya projection in russian and what we see in this on this image firstly we see the uh, occipital bone then frontal bone inside of uh, frontal bone we can nicely find easy to find the sinus frontal sinus uh, the um, bones on the nose are called nasal bones two bones here is the mandibular lower jaw and uh, maxilla especially here is the frontal process of the maxilla and we call this part of the maxilla as a um, durum palatum palatum durum heart palatum this is the uh, picture of the temporal mandibular joints. Interesting, uh, I hope you guess what does it mean. This is the hypophysal fossa, hypophys. This is the hypo hypophys is organ of uh, the endocrine system this endocrine systems organ and it is located just in centrum of the skull in the cella turcica cella turcica also uh, we let me delete remove the red lines i show you the biggest the largest sinus of the skull we call uh, we call uh, sinus sinus maxillaris or um, uh, upper jaw sinus also we because this is a real person this is a uh, 
light man we see the first and second cerebr uh, cervical vertebras here the small bones is a hyoid bone located under the uh, under the hair and uh, as well we see the larynx larynx uh, which connected with the pharynx uh, in the frontal projection we also can see frontal sinuses uh, frontal sinus but uh, in such uh, projection it's not very good visible if we uh, take another another chain projection uh, and uh, project uh, all parts of the uh, frontal bones superiorly we uh, will contrast uh, we will uh, see without contrast the frontal sinus even maxillar sinus here it is also named hymoral hymoral sinus and uh, we also uh, see the uh, septal of the nose nasal, nasal septum uh, next picture is uh, uh, ct three-dimensional scan uh, where we see lower jaw fracture here but this uh, is a really difficult really uh, <clears throat> hard uh, really tragic tragic uh, fracture of calvaria bones as you see a lot of uh, a lot of defects even the when the temporal and frontal bone and we see the fracture of orbit orbit fracture so i think uh, that is uh, one of the heaviest fracture of the term. and uh, extra nose objects in the skull like a nail like a harpoon and even the um, the metal object we use for hunting uh, underwater hunting and as you see uh, maybe this man uh, this man was uh, taken as a fish i don't know but uh, that is a real several several uh, several uh, several several enduring enduring x-ray anatomy of the skull uh, of the um, patient with the adenoma of uh, pituitary gland uh, pituitary tumor shows it shows are uh, the large and uh, uh, large volume of uh, Turkish solar of the Cell turcica, it, it and it is vision. It is visible without contraction. Turkish saddle, we call it. Yeah, uh, and uh, it is expanded, expanded. Uh, here, the cervical part of the uh, vertebral column. Uh, I show it already. I think you see the. Uh, transversal processes here of the cervical vertebra uh, we also see the bodies of the vertebra here and uh, also we see the uh, processus spinosus, spinosus. Uh, interesting that uh, such objects uh, here are located laterally to the uh, to the 
the cerebral the cervical uh, cervical vertebra bodies is the project of uh, arcus vertebra it is the pedunculi arcus vertebra which looks like uh, some oval oval objects oval obje objects symmetrical part in uh, lateral projection we we can examine uh, bodies of the cervical uh, vertebra and uh, evaluate the <coughs> uh, the high and uh, sizes of inter uh, this uh, intervertebral disc here uh, on the lateral projection uh, very good visible are uh, very good visible the uh, gap or cavity of intervertebral uh, uh, joints as well as the uh, spinal spinal process of uh, the cere uh, cerebral cerebral vertebrae um, the special uh, special um, life hack uh, technician uh, röntgen technician uh, uses used uh, for uh, to to make visible the uh, joints between atlas and axis especially here when we um, ask a patient to uh, open the mouth and uh, just uh, make uh, uh, photography x-ray imagination examination uh, through the open uh, or the opened uh, mouse uh, it uh, give us the opportunity to evaluate um, both uh, first and both both the first and the second cervical vertebra and here you see the bodies of these structures thoracic part uh, we examine it uh, to uh, for uh, evaluation of discs uh, sizes and uh, we uh, just to uh, take consideration about this part of the vertebra usually uh, here is a nerves uh, they come through these intervertebral uh, foramina and when we see the constructed constructed uh, uh, the constructed foramina it means that nerves is under the pressure so it's easy to uh, uh, to uh, examine and evaluate uh, the problems for for such patient uh, lumbar part uh, here we see the massive uh, bodies uh, vertebral bodies but uh, i uh, i want uh, to demonstrate you some pathological uh, pathological pieces of the uh, of the uh, vertebral body and we call it osteophytes which usually um, which usually uh, start uh, after i think 50 years and they uh, symbolize or show that uh, that is not normal and uh, such patients have problems with the uh, vertebral columns in the right projection in frontal projection we see uh, also all uh, all um, vertebral bodies lumbar uh, vertebral body we see the uh, processes uh, sp uh, spinosis process uh, and uh, we also see the 12 12th, 12th ribs which symbol it means that we now we if we see the 
connection with the ribs, the last one. Then we understand this is uh, 12 thoracic vertebra, but now is the first, second, the third, the fourth, fourth, and fifth. Fifth lumbar vertebra. CT scan of vertebral column shows us soft tissue. In comparison with the standard X-ray examination, we see even spinal cord, muscles, heart. Uh, that's why uh, the CT scan became more and more popular than traditional X-ray examination. You can uh, you can um, study uh, study some organs under magnification, like in uh, the mesoscopic uh, mesoscopic way, and by uh, by enlargement, and we see even the small structure located in the spinal canal. Here is the spiral uh, CT scan with the normal, he is a normal uh, uh, lumbar vertebra, but uh, right picture show us the osteophytes and even the scoliosis of the lumbar uh, tissue. And I think uh, that is difficult uh, because uh, to operate uh, people uh, it's not easy because of that uh, special uh, special uh, objects on the body. Here is a fracture, compression fracture, because we call it that uh, the vertebra body's vertebra will, will uh, was compressed. Uh, in two direction from uh, from the up and from the down and it falls to the uh, to the um, compression of the uh, of the lumbar body it is also visible on the spiral uh, CT and uh, here is the uh, several, several, uh, several compression in, in the lumbar region and even in the cervical region. As you see here, the uh, sequester of the body uh, move is moved to the uh, to the uh, back uh, to the posterior surface of the body, and it contract also the uh, the uh, spinal channel spinal channel vertebral channel and i think even uh, more uh, these uh, hernia we call such objects or the fracture uh, compress compress the spinal cord and that is bad here is the picture with the uh, destruction of the um, lumbar uh, vertebra bodies, vertebra's body by a tumor. Uh, here uh, was uh, he was a tumor. I hope cancer, maybe cancer was located. But after chemical chemotherapy uh, or some other reasons, it uh, regressed. It uh, uh, was. Uh, it was uh, regressed. It was regressed. Uh, the different several uh, several uh, disease is uh, scoliosis, especially women uh, has has such uh, scoliosis. Uh, we call it S shaped uh, scoliosis, and uh, the best way is put fixation of the body and. Uh, uh, and uh, help 
have this, I hope, young woman. X-ray chest anatomy show us the ribs. You see ribs, and it's uh, it's uh, uh, connection with the uh, thoracic bodies. Uh, we see even the sternoclavicular uh, joints here and from the lateral position uh, we also see intervertebral discs we can uh, examine the body of the uh, thoracic uh, vertebra and even heart so you see here this is the heart which also visible from laterally This is the CT scan of the chest, and uh, we find uh, the uh, chondria, uh, cartilaginous part of the ribs are not visible because they uh, don't absorb uh, don't absorb uh, X-ray radiation very well. So uh, computer uh, ignore ignore them and just show bones part of the rib but uh, of course that is not right and uh, students uh, should know and bone uh, and cartilage but uh, it uh, it was done just to examine the chest for uh, to uh, find the fracture and here uh, in the traditional uh, traditional uh, x ray uh, examination by radiography we see several uh, several fractures of the ribs here 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 and here i think that is real difficult uh, and uh, sometimes uh, the fractures uh, rib fractures are uh, much uh, more uh, visible on the city uh, city three dimensional objects like here and here and here all of these are fractured but uh, on the uh, right uh, side uh, we see the uh, one two three four five five uh, fractures of the uh, right ribs. Uh, bones of uh, upper extremities, uh, especially uh, very interesting to uh, know the uh, shoulder joints, which is done by uh, from the Uh, scapula, uh, its uh, lateral angle with the uh, particular faces. Uh, here visible the caput of humerus, and even uh, visible the border of uh, of the uh, surgical surgical. Uh, surgical isthmus or surgical uh, line where uh, the humerus may be uh, may be uh, may be uh, braked may be break. this is the axial projection with all with all of uh, other uh, bones located in this area and we see the uh, acromioclavicular clavicular joint uh, in, on the uh, superior and uh, superior part of the shoulder. Here is the dislocation of the shoulder joints. You see the uh, cavity of uh, the scapula and uh, dislocated uh, dislocated 
dislocated uh, caput of humerus. And this is a typical fracture of the humerus in the surgical line, surgical position of the humerus. Uh, so the girdle, uh, we uh, see the fracture of uh, clavicular, clavicular fracture and special fracture of the uh, scapula, which is uh, quite a rare, uh, quite a rare situation, quite rare damages. X-ray examination of elbow joints show us three bones, all three bones like ulna. Here is the radius, it's air, we can put it air, and ulna and humerus. All of these uh, bones are visible uh, from the posterior side. You see the, the uh, processes electronum and the capital of radii, and uh, almost all structure are visible. You know uh, all of this, I hope. So, here a fracture of electronum and dislocation. Dislocation, it also happened in the elbow joints, but mostly we see dislocation in shoulder joints, but not in elbow, but it is also possible. The uh, radiocarpal joints, we see the gap or cavity, radiocarpal cavity, but it is interesting that uh, here, you see the mm, lights, the lights, and this light is the disc between ulna, I hope you understand that is ulna, and that is radius. And these, mm, these uh, discs, discs located uh, just before the uh, radiocarpal joints, uh, is used to um, uh, is used to protect to isolate ulna from the radiocarpal joint. This is a picture of hand. We uh, can show you all of uh, the uh, wrist bones as well as uh, metacarpal bones and even uh, pharynx, digital pharynx here. As you see, a uh, letter L and R are also presented in this picture, and here also. Uh, normal, uh, the normal uh, anatomical uh, uh, objects like bones visible on the left side, but here you see rheumatoid arteries which, def which uh, destroy the uh, cartilaginous uh, surfaces on the bones and uh, give patient problems. Uh, in comparison, you see that the gap between uh, metacarpal bones and phalanx uh, proximalis is very, very less, is very less. So, uh, this causes a problem for patient and polydactyly when uh, children uh, children may have six uh, sometimes seven uh, seven digit uh, digit or uh, fingers and uh, here the difficult uh, hard fracture of metacarpal bodies of metacarpal three metacarpal joints and that is a scaphoid fracture which is located on the scaphoid bone on the wrist x-ray examination of adult uh, in the pelvis we see all bones uh, which combines combining combining the pelvis girdle here the I show you the picture of the uh, pubic bone. That is the 
contours or borders of uh, these here bones and this is the iliac bone. Uh, very good visible the um, articulatio coxa or uh, coxal, uh, coxal joints with the uh, caput of femoris, uh, columnar femoris, and two trochanters, small here and large trochanter. The um, central part is the uh, foramen obturatorium. Here uh, you see the uh, children x-ray image of the pelvis and you uh, can also you can also nicely see the gap between bones that is not fractures that is uh, gross uh, zones of the bone so don't be confused that is no fracture at all fractures at all that is just normal period of development of pelvis uh, and tight bones developments. Here is a, a dramatic fracture of pelvis bones. You see that here, here and here. And uh, that is uh, uh, osteosynthesis of the pelvis after fractures. And uh, it helps uh, it helps to survive, to survive. That is the extraneous objects in the pelvis and seizes was uh, forgotten in the abdominal cavity and uh, that is uh, uh, when uh, some <laughs> crazy people eat uh, metal objects like fork and uh, even knives <laughs> that is very dangerous Danger, uh, dangerous hobby to eat metal object, and this is a, a mobile telephone in the pelvis. Uh, I uh, I want to tell you how it uh, come into the pelvis. I hope you guess. And the uh, frontal projection of the um, uh, hip joints. Uh, show uh, us the typical position of the uh, uh, of the head uh, caput of the uh, femur and uh, also uh, sometimes doctor uses axial pro ex axial projection when uh, the one femur are uh, um, abducted and uh, from the mm, uh, from the mm, uh, from the uh, lower side uh, visible all bones yeah and this is a normal uh, typical uh, typical uh, position of the um, uh, caput femur uh, in the uh, hip joints we call it shanton the, uh, the yellow is the uh, shanton line and also the uh, figure of uh, his uh, uh, Christian shape and uh, uh, fi figure of Tia located this is a, a normal feature of this is a feature of normal uh, normal hip joints. Uh, that is the fracture of the uh, hip uh, bone, and that is the uh, artificial uh, artificial prosthetic of the joint. Uh, knee joints um, we usually examinate uh, in the two projection laterally and frontally, and you see this is the uh, letter P what means in the uh, in Russia probably it is the right uh, right uh, side but uh, you also see the uh, gaps between uh, bones uh, and this is a 
growing growing zone here here's a computer and scanning of knee joints we can see even not only bones but we see the uh, ligaments ligaments inside of the uh, knee joints we find a cruciform ligament here is the scanning of the surface and as you see here is also uh, osteophytes uh, located on the tight and tibia uh, here is a mm, break uh, breaking down of the cruciform uh, ligament and uh, this is the uh, deformated deformated uh, knee joint and this is after uh, replacement and put putting the artificial joints uh, x-ray of ankle joints usually done in is usually done in two projection frontal and lateral and uh, sometimes we see a dramatic dramatic uh, fracture of the fibula and uh, this is the uh, arches of the uh, foot uh, usually they uh, should be uh, in arches but here you see that that is the flatted uh, flatted feet and uh, this one is fracture of two uh, two epiphysis of proximal phalanx uh, of the right foot and uh, this is uh, uh, hallux valgus deformation of the first uh, first um, digital in uh, first thumb uh, on the foot and this is also polydactylian uh, that's all for now my friend i hope you are not very tight and you have uh, power to come back to the moodle section and uh, uh, pass uh, the test i uh, wish you good luck if you have a question i am ready to answer if no just uh, uh, let's finish and thank you for your attention and uh, yeah i um, uh, i do uh, i do uh, wish uh, you come back uh, you if sorry you come to the uh, our university and i hope it will be done very soon that uh, because uh, actually i hate uh, i hate to uh, have a lecture with the computer uh, with the <laughs> with the screen lecture i prefer uh, to uh, communicate with you and i hope it will be uh, happened very very soon Thank you very much uh, for your attention again. Uh, I am uh, Dmitry Starczyk, Professor Dmitry Starczyk from Human uh, Morphology Department in uh, where else? In the uh, Northwest State Medical University named after Mechnikov in beautiful city, St. Petersburg. I hope you will see 